Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Toy Geek Maniac. Yes. I'm your host, Chad Midler. Okay, so as you probably may have noticed if you've been following uh, the activity on this channel, uh, you know that I've become obsessed with Masters of the Universe Revelation, the Netflix TV show created by Kevin Smith that picks up directly after the 1980s uh, cartoon series Love Dog. A little bit of controversy behind it because a lot of people don't like how things developed. <laughs> Let's just say that. At any rate, I have loved it. Uh, there are certain things that I didn't like about it, and we're actually going to talk about part of that in this episode. So, um,. You can see behind me here, um, this is my Revelation display with my own artwork in the back. Um, I'll actually try to like zoom in and give you guys a closer look at what that is all about here in a moment, but we're going to get on to one of the more exciting aspects to this collection that I wasn't really expecting. And talk a little bit about my own disappointment with the show. So I found this and trying not to get so much glare. Um, This was at a price that you could not beat in retail. And the reason I'm saying that is because for one typical figure, say for instance, Skeletor right there, you're gonna pay 22 to 24 dollars. I got this set for 15 and that includes two figures, one of which I don't care about. I'm more than happy to pay $15 just for Orko. Yes, Orko. Who the fuck? I am gonna flat out here tell you that I think this is probably the best figure that has come out of this line at all. Like as good as all these figures are, this is life to me. Um, I never got to own an original Orko from the 80s, uh, the Masters of the Universe Origins line. Orko is extremely expensive, um, so this is my first time having an Orko, and I never thought that I would be excited about that. But this. is just astounding. So first off, we're going to talk about articulation. He has a head that moves up and down. 
pivots. The scarf mobility is where it is. His arms do lift up. There's really no articulation, but you can kind of manipulate his arms. It's almost kind of like there are bendy wires, but not. So if you have a position you want him in, it's not going to stay that way. But for a quick second, if you want to take a photograph or something like that, then yes, you can. Um, beneath him is his stand, which is translucent, um, and also has some articulation. So if you wanted to go any which way and about that you want to with him, you can. Never in my life would I have thought that Wilco would be a favorite figure of mine ever in my 46 years. <laughs> and being a fan of the franchise for most of my life. So, so here's Orko and um, I almost guarantee you he's going to be the MVT for June. <laughs> um, so yeah. Way to go, little buddy. So that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I certainly appreciate it. If you have any thoughts about Orgo or second half of that set <laughs> please do let me know in the comments below don't forget to hit like subscribe do all that fun stuff and as always love and light to you all hello everyone it's may 2022 and it's time to announce the new mvt of the month now, like with sports, you have your MVP, your most valuable player. Here at Redinson Productions, we have the most valuable toy of the month. And this month, it is Scarlet from G.I. Joe Classified. Very happy to have her as a part of this collection, and congratulations, Scarlet.